Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about dysmenorrhea or you can say menstrual cramps. So, are you looking for a homeopathic cure for menstrual cramps or dysmenorrhea? So, in this video, we will discuss about the homeopathic treatment for menstrual cramps along with the best homeopathic medicines which has been successfully used for the treatment of menstrual cramps or you can say dysmenorrhea treatment. So these are the basic topics as you can see here on the screen we have provided a picture that we will discuss in this video with you guys one by one. So first of all I would like to discuss about menstrual cramps or you can say dysmenorrhea that what exactly is the meaning of dysmenorrhea. So dysmenorrhea or the menstrual cramps refers to the painful menses which begins usually with the onset of the menses or you can say on the first day of the menses and may last for a few hours to three days. And pain is usually of cramping type which occurs in the pelvis or the lower abdomen of the female and may radiate to the thigh and the back. And this pain may associate with other symptoms like nausea, vertigo, diarrhea and irritability. So this is the exact meaning of the dysmenorrhea or you can say menstrual cramps. I hope this is very much clear to you guys. Now next we'll talk about the types of menstrual cramps now. So basically there are two types of dysmenorrhea depending upon the cause. One is primary dysmenorrhea and second is secondary dysmenorrhea. Now the question arises what is primary dysmenorrhea? So primary dysmenorrhea refers to the menstrual cramps without any underlying pathology which is quite normal and affects most of the females. And secondary dysmenorrhea means if menstrual cramps occurs due to some pathology of the uterus or ovaries like fibroid, endometriosis, pelvic inflammatory disease that is PID, ectopic pregnancy. So this is called as secondary dysmenorrhea. Now next we'll talk about what are the causes which are responsible for menstrual cramps. So first of all we'll talk about the primary dysmenorrhea causes. The next we'll talk about the secondary dysmenorrhea causes. So as we have already discussed that primary dysmenorrhea occurs in the absence of any significant pathological cause for the pain. And this type of menstrual pain is most commonly seen in young women during the years following the onset of the menstruation. Now what are the causes behind primary dysmenorrhea? So as we all know that prostaglandins are the chemicals that the women's body produce that cause many of the symptoms associated with the menstrual discomfort. The tissue that lines the uterus that is endometrium produces these chemicals and they are released with the onset of the menses when the uterine lining breaks down. And the prostaglandins stimulate the uterine muscles to contract. Women who have high level of prostaglandins experience more intense contractions of the uterus and this produces more pain. So prostaglandins are also or you can say maybe responsible for vomiting, diarrhea and headaches that frequently accompany painful periods. These are the causes which are responsible for primary dysmenorrhea. Now what are the causes that are responsible for secondary dysmenorrhea? So as I have already said, secondary dysmenorrhea can be caused by any pathology, any pathological condition of the reproductive tract, tract such as endometriosis, fibroid, adenomyosis, infections, IUD that is intrauterine devices, ectopic pregnancy, ovarian cyst, stress or narrowing cervix. Okay, so these are the basic causes which are responsible for secondary dysmenorrhea. Now next we'll talk about the diagnosis of menstrual cramps. So basically patients is character of the pain reveals a cause of dysmenorrhea. 
otherwise ultrasonography is a diagnostic no next treatment so what is the ultimate treatment for the menstrual cramp so you can say dysmenorrhea so let's talk about the homeopathic treatment so homeopathic tr medicines homeopathic medicines for the menstrual pain during periods are very effective in providing relief from the pain and these medicines are made of, of natural substances and are free from any side effects they are completely safe that works to end the root cause of the pain during periods now let's talk about the top homeopathic medicines which has been successfully used for the treatment of menstrual cramps menstrual pain or you can say dysmenorrhea so first and the foremost medicine as you can see here on the screen is macfoss this is a top grade medicine for menstrual cramps and this medicine can be used to manage any type of pain in the lower abdomen during menses like cramping, shooting or cutting pain. There may occur relief in the pain from warm applications as from a heat pad, hot water bottle over lower abdomen. Pressing the abdomen also relieves the pain. Now when and how to use MACFOS, that is Magnesia Phosphorica. It should be the first choice of medicine in case of painful menses. It brings great relief in menstrual cramps. Its use is mostly preferred in 6x potency that comes in tablet form. 4 tablets of magnesium force 6x can be repeated every 3 or 4 hours to afford relief in menstrual cramps. And as the intensity of the pains comes down, it should be taken just once or twice a day during the rest of the periods. Now let's talk about the second medicine for dysmenorrhea, that is Colosynth. So for the menstrual cramps which are better by double, by vending double, Colosynth is a natural homeopathic medicine for the menstrual cramps. This medicine is highly recommended to manage menstrual cramps that are relieved from bending double. The pain is burst from eating or drinking anything. There may be tendency to heavy periods and frequent periods in case needing it. Now when and how to use Colosynth? This medicine should be given in cases. This medicine should be given in cases where bending forward reduces the intensity of the pain during periods. And 30 potency is the most frequently used potency of this medicine. It can be taken two or three times a day during periods as per the intensity of the pain. Now third medicine for dysmenorrhea is Belladonna. For the pain in the lower abdomen, back in the legs during periods, Belladonna is a very excellent medicine. It is very suitable medicine for managing pain, which, I, which is occurring in the lower abdomen, lower back and legs during the periods. Cramps occur in the uterus and also intense bearing down sensation is felt in the uterus. Bearing down gets worse on lying down. Bleeding during periods is bright red, profuse and hot. Headache and a heated sensation in the head usually accompanied with bleeding. Now when and how to use Belladonna? This medicine should be considered in cases when during menses pain is marked in the lower abdomen, lower back and legs. It can be taken once or twice a day in 30 potency. Now let's talk about the fourth medicine for dysmenorrhea that is Savina. So for the pain from lower back to pubis that is lower part of the abdomen at front of the pelvis this is a very excellent homeopathic medicine for dysmenorrhea pain get worse while walking there is a relief from lying flat on the back with extended legs along with the pain along with the pain there occurs heavy periods the menstrual blood is bright red and contain clots Pain in the head, nausea, vomiting may occur in some cases. It is very effective medicine to treat cases of the uterine fibroids and endometriosis also. Now when and how to use Savina? Savina should be used when pain specifically occur in the lower back and goes to pubis during menses. Heavy periods with the clot may attend it though can be used in different potencies and it is advised to start with 30 potency. It can be taken two or three times in 30 potency as per the severity of the pain during periods. 
This medicine can be used to resolve fibroids and treat endometriosis, for which this medicine need to be taken for a few months. For using it to treat these medical conditions, kindly consult a homeopathy, homeopathic doctor for right potency and doses. Okay. The next medicine that is a fifth one for dysmenorrhea is sepia. So for the painful menses with scanty menstrual periods, it is a very excellent medicine. And the main character of the pain to use this medicine is bearing down in the pelvis area as if the pelvic organs will come out of the vagina. So women needing it may experience half-sided headaches during menses and sepia is a very important medicine to deal with the cases of uterine fibroids and PID, pelvic inflammatory disease. Now when and how to take it? So you can take it in 30 potency and one dose in 30 potency can be taken once a day to relieve the pain and improve the blood flow during periods and don't repeat it frequently. Its use can also be done to treat cases of uterine fibroids and pain. Now over six medicine for dysmenorrhea or the pelvic pain or you can say menstrual cramping is Epicac. Epicac for painful periods with nausea and vomiting. Epicac is a wonderful medicine. There is a persons there is a persistent nausea during periods with the pain in the lower abdomen. Cutting type of pain is felt in the uterus. Pain going from left to right side and the bleeding is heavy and the bright red, bright red in color during periods. Now when and how to use this? You can take your epicac in 30 potency and you can take it once or twice during menses to relieve the symptoms. Now let's talk about the last medicine that is the seventh one for the menstrual cramping or you can say dysmenorrhea. For the pain in the lower abdomen, lower back and the hips during menses, Kelicarb is another medicine of the great help. This medicine is prescribed for cutting pain in the lower abdomen, back and hips. Backache is most severe and worsens by walking. The patient gets relief from backache by sitting or by applying pressure on the back. Weakness, sleepiness may also appear. Now when and how to use Kelicar? It is an ideal prescription for managing pain in the lower abdomen, lower back and hips during menses. So it can be taken in 30 potency once or twice during menses. This was all about the last medicine for menstrual cramping. So that's all for today. In this video, we have discussed about top 7 homeopathic medicines for the permanent treatment of menstrual cramps or you can say dysmenorrhea. So that's all for today. See you guys in our next video. Till then stay connected with us for more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below and yes, press the bell icon for more update. Stay safe and stay healthy. And yes, thanks for watching this video.